Welcome back to Follow Lisa. This is about my stained glass perpetual calendar lamp. It took me three days to draw all of the different months and all the important things that are relating to me. I used a bicycle wheel for the structure because it was so heavy. So of course we start with January, good luck symbols for the new year, coins, calendars, fat pigs, green leaf, clovers, and ladybugs. We've got February's box of chocolates in the shape of a heart with a yellow rose sitting on a handkerchief that bleeds onto both January and March. In Geneva, we have the car show in March, so we had to have the car represented here. April, we have Easter, so I took a broken plate and made an Easter egg out of it, and the fish represents the Poisson d'Avril. Here's the broken plate. I took the remnants and made a bracelet out of it, by the way. May is the first of May is for the lily of the valley and the slugs coming out, the birds singing. We've got a rainbow because we've got April showers bring May flowers. June, we've got a bowl of strawberries with the bee coming off and the awning is coming out. The sun is getting close. And we've got the rest of the bowl of strawberries with a butterfly and a cat hiding behind the J for July and some games because it's summer now. First of August is the uh, Swiss National Day and the Fête de Genève is when they have a, a firework festival so we've got that represented. September the Knie Circus comes to town. Uh, at the end of August is my birthday and therefore my father used to take me there for my birthday. Of course we had to put a pumpkin for October and the umbrellas are coming out as well. The weather is starting to change. The rain has developed now, the fondue is out, and we've got a little drip coming off the fondue fork for November. December is for the Christmas and New Year. We've got a watch representing the 31st of December and the Malmite de l'Escalade. It was very exciting to line them all up like this because it was the only opportunity to see them in that position. Here I've now attached it to the bicycle wheel and I've added a mirror to the top bit to hide the wheel itself. And I just thought it was beautiful with the sun showing through. And now it is with the light bulbs behind it. And here's the final product. I love how it projects onto the window curtains at night. I ended up using an old lamp base that was my grandmother's. It's very heavy, so it was able to hold it up. It's an extremely heavy lampshade, by the way. And then I made a design of fabric, and I had it printed at Spoonflower, and I made a dress out of it. I put the months in French down six months on each side so that uh, you can see it representing a perpetual calendar. And thanks very much for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to Follow Lisa.